Captain's Log. Estimated star date 9586.1. Commander Chekhov's attempt to destroy us has instead resulted in the destruction of the Janus Vortex, and with it, perhaps, our only hope of getting back home. In our universe, this single iron storm existed both here, where it was known as Janus Prime, and deep in Tholian space where it was known as Janus Ultima. Since its properties seem to have been responsible for our crossover, we have no choice now but to set course for the Tholian Assembly. Unfortunately, that journey will take us directly through the most densely populated region of the Quadrant. In this mirror universe, where good and evil are reflections of the world we knew, we cannot be certain of what awaits us, but we must be prepared for anything. Captain's Log, star date 9591.9. .9. With the warp drive restored and the additional repairs underway, we are now leaving the hostile territory of the Terran Empire behind. I fear we have not seen the last of Commander Chekhov. If there is anything more dangerous than a wounded enemy, it is a comrade betrayed. Ahead of us lies a difficult journey through an unfamiliar universe. The challenges we have experienced so far may only be a taste of what lies ahead. Repeat, you are hereby ordered to use any means necessary to stop ISS Excelsior. She must not be allowed to fall into Klingon hands. If she will not comply, destroy her. Acknowledge, Enterprise. This is ISS Enterprise. Orders acknowledged. Check off out. Captain's Log, Stardate 9603.8. Thanks to our successful alliance with the Klingons, we have now made it safely to the edge of their territory. Also, we have added a new fighter to our arsenal, and we are one step closer to reaching our goal. Unfortunately, it appears that Commander Chekhov and the Terran Empire remain committed to hunting us down. It seems likely, though, that they will think twice before following us to our next destination the Romulan Neutral Zone. Back home, we had finally managed to reach initial diplomatic relations with the Klingons. Unfortunately for us, our dealings with the Romulans have always been on the field of war. Commander Chekhov, your efforts to stop the Excelsior have been less than impressive. Captain Solo's strategy has become unpredictable. His motives are unclear. Perhaps it is your motivation that we should be examining, Commander. Do not let your long association with Captain Sulu color your judgment. Sulu is a traitor. His actions warrant death. You know what we expect of you. Yes, sir. It shall be done. Check off out. Captain's Log, Stardate 9607.4. Our battle with Commander Baylock is over. Strange to imagine that what in our universe was nothing more than a puppet's facade, here was a genuine living being seeking our destruction. Once again underway for the Romulan neutral zone, we are reminded that in this universe, nothing is what it seems. Commander Chekhov, you have failed the Empire once again. Sulu has made powerful alliances with our enemies. Fortunately, my security team was able to probe his computers. We are still decoding the information, but I believe I now know where he is going. We can see where he is going, Commander. And we have had to divert other starships to intercept him. But... You, however, are hereby ordered to break off your pursuit and immediately make way for the Tholian Assembly. We are sending you on a special mission of extreme importance to the Empire. Details will follow. Starfleet out. Transmission from the Enterprise, sir. On screen. Captain Sulu, I presume. Though I doubt the Captain Sulu I know would have gone to all this trouble. You know, then. I took the liberty of decoding your data logs, Captain. It would seem that you are not who you appear to be. 
Then you must also know where we're going, and why. Indeed. The Janus Ultima Vortex would seem to be your only hope. I suppose I might be of some small use to you there, Captain. Returning the favor, as it were. You're speaking treason, Commander. Fluently, Captain. It was no accident that I was sent out here to die in a Tolian ambush. A suicide mission is the Empire's unique reward for failure. Cleaner than an execution. Better for morale. That still doesn't explain... We are both enemies of the Empire now, Captain. If I am to survive, I must have the Captain Sulo Aino fighting at my side. Besides, the Klingons and Romulans are emboldened, and many of the Empire's best ships have already been destroyed. What better time for two ambitious starship captains to... Seize power, Commander Chekhov? Restore order, Captain Sulo. Prevent galactic war. It is the way of all Empires, Captain, to fall prey to the next one. Follow my ship closely, and I will get you to the Vortex. Commander Chekhov, you have our thanks. I am a practical man, Captain. At least if I can get my Captain Sulu back, I will have an ally when the Empire comes after me. Don't forget the Klingons and Romulans that just saved this Commander. Perhaps you and your Captain Sulu should seek them out. With their help, who knows? Maybe the Empire could be yours. At the price of an alliance with Klingons and Romulans. You may just find, Commander Chekhov, that an alliance against evil will prove more rewarding than your previous enterprises have ever been. I should think such an opportunity might have an appeal for a practical man. An interesting idea, Captain Sulu. I shall consider it. Captain's Log, Stardate 9632.8. The Klingons and Romulans have departed. Commander Chekhov intends to stay here with the Enterprise and wait for his comrade's return. I hope he does not wait in vain. Ahead of us lies the Janus Ultima Vortex and our one chance of returning to the universe we know. Our crossover will no doubt be dangerous, but at least now there is no one left to stand in our way. Welcome home, Excelsior. Good to have you back, Captain Sulu. You don't know how good it is to be back, Commander Chekhov. I hope we weren't too much trouble. Starfleet is aware of what happened, sir. Although I'm afraid there may be a slight problem. Problem, Commander Chekhov? It's the Klingons and the Romulans, sir. The Klingons and Romulans? Yes, sir. I'm afraid I must report that your counterpart made some rather unusual allies during his stay in our universe, just as I'm sure you did in theirs. Yes, Commander? Well, sir, it appears that the Klingons and Romulans believe that you have mutinied against Starfleet. I'm afraid some of them are quite anxious for you to lead them in a war against the Federation. Mutiny against Starfleet? Wage war against the Federation? Sorry, Commander. Not interested. Been there, done that. Welcome home, Captain. Mr. Gray, set course for Starbase 6. Ahead, warp factor 2.
Tango calls for reinforcement! Now! Vortex, my entire crew has somehow been transposed. We find ourselves aboard a changed Excelsior in an unfamiliar universe. If what I think has happened has, then I'm afraid we can expect our stay here to be treacherous. Commander Chekhov, I order you to stand down. You and your ship are outmatched. You may have your stolen Tolian shields, Captain, but I think you'll find that your phaser banks have been... Sabotaged. Confirmed, sir. And death can come in a thousand cuts. Is it not better this way, Sulu? My men against yours, ship to ship, eye to eye. Captain, I'm reading several small vessels heading for us. They do not appear to be shuttles, sir. My god. Fighters. Red alert. Battle stations. Sulu to shuttle bay. What's your status? Uh, Captain, sir, things down here have, uh, changed. Mister, I don't care if the shuttles have become pumpkins and the pilots are white mice. Launch everything you've got immediately. Defend the Excelsior. That's an order. Captain's Log, Stardate 9587.5. Our journey has begun. Stranded in what I can only describe as a parallel universe, our best chance of returning home now seems to lie on the other side of the quadrant at Janus Ultima. Apart from the physical changes in our ship and ourselves, it is clear that in this universe the Federation as we know it simply does not exist. Therefore, our first objective must be to cross through Terran space as quickly as possible. Using the new fighters discovered in the shuttle bay, our pilots will scout the way ahead. Hopefully, we will not draw any unwanted attention. Captain's Log, Stardate 9588.7. So far, so good. Under the escort of the ISS Renegade, the Excelsior has arrived at Starbase 9 seeking repairs. For the moment, the Empire seems unaware of the events at Janus Prime and of our true nature. We have to make sure it stays that way. Starbase 9 welcomes you, Excelsior. We trust the Klingon Band-Aids did not give you too much trouble on your approach. <clears throat> the security of this sector is the responsibility of your Starbase Commander. I'm giving you just 16 hours to prepare my ship and to submit a report explaining the presence of Klingon Raiders in your jurisdiction. Do I make myself clear? No, sir. I mean, yes, sir. No disrespect intended. Sir. Don't disappoint me, Commander. 
Zulu out. Captain's Log, Stardate 9589.2. We are now a hunted ship. Our only hope is to make a run for the Klingon border. Unfortunately, that course will take us through the old Federation proving grounds where new weapon systems are tested and old ones have been discarded. Captain, I'm reading several starships ahead, but there's something strange. Strange? Yes, sir. At least four starships, but no life signs aboard, Captain. None. Probably part of the old abandoned mothball fleet that was left out here somewhere. Yes, sir, but we are being hailed. I thought you said there were no life signs. None, sir, but we are being hailed. On screen. Unidentified starship. Acknowledge your presence in this restricted area immediately. This is Captain Sulu, the U.S. the ISS Excelsior. We are making an uh, unannounced inspection of this area. To whom am I? M5 Tyan. Captain Sulu acknowledged. Be advised, this unit has selected your vessel for immediate destruction. Destruction will now commence. This unit must survive. M5 out. Captain's Log, Stardate 9590.3. We have arrived near the Klingon border. All that apparently stands in our way is a remote Terran outpost. With several of our dilithium crystals damaged in recent combat, we intend to see if this outpost can be persuaded to part with theirs. Looks abandoned, sir. Too convenient. Open hailing frequencies. Outpost 7. This is Captain Sulu of the ISS Excelsior. Do you read? Affirmative, Captain. I read you. Chekhov. I don't know what you're plotting, Captain, but the rewards must be extraordinary. Sulu, you and I have always been comrades. Include me now, and together we will rule the Empire. Just as we've always planned. I'm sorry, Commander, but I'm afraid this is one voyage I must make alone. Then I assure you, Captain, it will be that voyage from which no traveler returns. Captain, I'm reading multiple heavy targets approaching our position at warp speed. Red alert! Battle stations! Pilots to your ships! Captain's log, stardate 9594.4. Something is wrong. We have crossed into Klingon space, but so far, we have encountered no resistance whatsoever. I know this region. It is a Klingon industrial center, but for some reason, our sensors are only picking up small planetoids, asteroids, and rubble. Back home, an uneasy truce has been established between the Federation and the Klingon Empire. Unfortunately, in this universe, we have no way of knowing how the Klingons will welcome us. I don't think it will take long to find out. Captain's Log, Stardate 9599.7. As we press deeper into Klingon space, we continue to meet only light resistance. Everywhere we look, there are signs that some great cataclysm has swept through this region. But what? Captain, I'm picking up a Priority One distress call, audio only, from a Klingon outpost directly ahead. On screen. Incredible super weapon. Repeat, Space Station 12 is nearly destroyed. Thousands dead. Only a few of us left. Request immediate reinforcements. We who remain will die with honor. Captain's log, Stardate 9602.9. We have found the cause of the devastation we've seen in the Klingon territories. Long-range sensors have detected a giant robotic planet killer deep in Klingon space. It is identical to an ancient alien mechanism once encountered by the USS Enterprise under Captain Kirk. More disturbing still, it appears that this super weapon is operating under the escort of a pair of Imperial starships. Inconceivably, it looks as though the Terran Empire has harnessed this doomsday machine as a means of subjugating its enemies. The planet killer is now closing on the last defenses of the Klingon homeworld. I'm not sure what we can do to stop it, 
but we must try. Captain's Log, Stardate 9603.4 In gratitude for saving their homeworld, the Klingons are escorting us to the Romulan border. A new star is forming here, and its gas and dust may provide us with some cover. Captain, someone is hailing us. It's... First you betray me, then the Empire. And now your ship runs under a Klingon flag. Sulu, how can it profit you to throw your career away like this? I tell you there is nowhere to run. Try to hide in that cloud and I swear, its cold dust will be your grave. Captain's Log, Stardate 9606.2. The Excelsior continues toward the Janus Vortex. Hopefully we won't- Captain, sensors detecting an extremely large vessel directly ahead. On screen. This is Commander Baylock of the Starship Viserys. Your ship, having violated the territorial integrity of the First Federation, must be destroyed. There is no escape. You now have ten minutes. Captain's Log, Stardate 9608.4. We have entered the Romulan Neutral Zone. Under normal circumstances, this would be considered an act of war. But with any luck, we may be able to slip through undetected. Captain, I'm reading several light craft of Klingon design directly in our path. Heavy airships? No, sir. Just fighters. Probably a remote Romulan patrol using shared Klingon technology. We'll have to try to stop them before they can report us. Red alert, Mr. Gray. Aye, sir. Red alert. Captain's Log, Stardate 9609.1. We have left the neutral zone and have now entered Romulan space. Unfortunately, it already appears that we will be most unwelcome guests. Clearly, the Romulans remain committed to the integrity of their borders. We are even now detecting the hulks of several demolished starships ahead. No doubt, they have been left there as a warning. Captain's Log, Stardate 9612.9 We have entered a strange nebula covering a vast region of space. With luck, we can use it for cover as we try to slip by the Romulan homeworlds. We can only hope that nothing else in this cloud has thought of the same idea. Captain, we are intercepting a Romulan communication. On speaker. Detected a Terran warship entering the zone, no doubt hoping to take advantage of this disaster. We will give them the welcome they so richly deserve. Subcommander Toll out. Captain's Log, Stardate 9615.4. We have entered the cell body of the giant organism infecting Romulan space. It is vital that we do not let the simple yet gargantuan life form reproduce. Unchecked, it will multiply exponentially, threatening not only the Romulan Republic, but the entire galaxy as well. I remember attempting this very same maneuver when I was a young helmsman Ready. aboard the Enterprise. Nevertheless, we have to remember that this is not our universe. The rules of the game may well have changed. Captain's Log, Stardate 9617.7. I have tracked the Excelsior's voyage deep into Romulan space. So far, Captain Sulu has made allies of the Klingons, and now he has done the same with the Romulans. He is obviously attempting to create a coalition of the Empire's most powerful enemies, with himself poised at its head. His ultimate goal can be nothing less than the overthrow of the Empire itself. It is an audacious plan, and I am honored that its first phase called for my elimination. But there is an old Russian proverb, if you strike the Tsar, you must kill him. 
Now my former comrade will come to regret not killing me when he had the chance. Captain's Log, Stardate 9621.2. We have reached the Bromulantholian border, and Janus Ultima is now closer than ever. My crew has nearly repaired the damage to our warp drive sustained in our last encounter with Commander Chekhov. With luck, we will- Captain, sensors have detected four Terran warships closing on us at warp six. Red alert. Prepare for maximum warp on my order. Captain, engineering reports a potential imbalance in the warp drive. On my order, Lieutenant. Engage! Captain! My god! We're home! Captain's Log, Stardate 9622.7 Our trip through the wormhole has gained us some time, but intercepted Terran communications indicate that they know where we are headed. Our only hope is to get to Janus Ultima first. Captain, I'm picking up a Terran transmission from deep inside Tholian space. On screen. Mayday! Mayday! ISS Enterprise immobilized and surrounded by Tholian craft. Estimate 20 minutes to web completion and destruction of Enterprise. Request immediate assistance on any available. This is Commander Joe Ardeen of the Tholian Assembly. Our warning is explicit. All who violate our assembly and annex space shall promptly be destroyed. Attempt no foolish rescues here. This is your only warning. Helmsman, plot a course for the Enterprise. But sir, if we alter course now... The Terran fleet will reach Janus Ultima first, I know. So far, we've had to fight against this Empire in self-defense, and we may have to do so again. But I will not simply stand by and watch Commander Chekhov die. Not even this, Commander Chekhov. But sir, would he lift a finger to save us? No. No, he wouldn't. And that's precisely why we're going, Lieutenant. We are not them. Course laid in, sir. Ahead. Warp Factor 4. Captain's Log, Stardate 9626.3. Under the escort of the ISS Enterprise, we have reached the outskirts of the Janus Vortex's extension into Tholian space. Ahead, we are already detecting several warships of the Terran Empire. My science officer believes that with luck, we can recreate the circumstances which brought us into this universe by detonating a forced dilithium crystal implosion within the Vortex Cloud. But first, we will have to clash with the Empire one last time. Report! Engineering reports the Dilithium Torpedo has been prepared. However, the storm has become extremely unstable. Science Officer estimates 10 minutes before it reaches critical energy density. Captain! On screen! Excelsior! Our Excelsior! In here with us! You! You are responsible for this! Most of my crew dead! Chased halfway across space by your contemptible federation! You want to get back to them? I will send you back to them as a lifeless, burning wreck! Oh my. Captain's Log, USS Enterprise, Stardate 9629.5. There has been no sign of USS Excelsior or Captain Sulu since their counterparts entered the Janus Vortex. We must presume the Excelsior has been destroyed, with all hands lost.
Captain's Log, ISS Enterprise, Commander Pavel Chekhov recording. It is my duty to report that ISS Excelsior has been destroyed, with the loss of all hands aboard. Captain Sulu has met his fate. ISS Enterprise proceeding to next assignment. Captain's Log, ISS Enterprise, Commander Pavel Chekhov recording. It is my duty to report that ISS Excelsior has been destroyed, with the loss of all hands aboard. Captain Sulu has met his fate. ISS Enterprise proceeding to next assignment. Captain's Log, ISS Enterprise, Commander Pavel Chekhov recording. It is my duty to report that ISS Excelsior has been destroyed, with the loss of all hands aboard. Captain Sulu has met his fate. ISS Enterprise proceeding to next assignment. Captain's Log, ISS Enterprise, Commander Pavel Chekhov recording. It is my duty to report that ISS Excelsior has been destroyed, with the loss of all hands aboard. Captain Sulu has met his fate. ISS Enterprise proceeding to next assignment. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Excelsior. Its ongoing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where none have gone before. Stardate 9585.9, USS Excelsior, proceeding at maximum warp on intercept course with Starship's Enterprise and Ranger in Sector 7A, answering their Priority 1 distress call. Another shattered crystal, sir. We're nearly there. Secure from warp on my command. Prepare to run at full impulse. While aiding the USS Ranger, Commander Chekhov and the Enterprise have become caught in the throat of the Janus Vortex, a subspace whirlpool that somehow exists in both Federation and Tholian space simultaneously. We are on a rescue mission to save them. Storm front directly ahead, sir. All hands, prepare for impact. Sir, a weak signal from the eye of the storm. On screen. Stand down, Excelsior. Imminent warp core breach. Do not hit rescue mission. Too dangerous. Chekhov, prepare to transport your people. We're almost there. Eye wall in seven seconds. Shields at. Captain, the last crystal. Let's get some lights on in here. Captain, on screen. Welcome to the eye of the storm, old comrade. I regret to inform you that your conspiracy to betray the Empire has been compromised. Captain, the Enterprise has locked phasers on the Ranger. He 
If only you had taken me into your confidence, Zulu, we could have ruled together. Instead, you will die here, at your traitor's rendezvous where none can see. What other fate can there be for a starship that has declared naked rebellion against the Empire?